So we got Sacktown Finest 96 in the black and Aqua Thunder in the white. It's going to be a brilliant game. Let's see how it unfolds. All right. So Sacktown Finest wins the tip. They have a lineup of Fox, Heald, Pager, Pollard, and Cousins. Aqua Thunder on the defensive side have Robertson, Heald, Christie, Holmes, and Cousins. So let's see who's going to come off victorious. Here we go. Fox with the pull-up. Holmes with the rebound. Give it to Body Hill. Looks like Body Hill is repping number three. That's very interesting. And Cousins with the foul. He gets to the line for Oko Thunder. Trying to put him up a quick two to zero. Let's see if he is uh, he can accomplish that. Look at that pass by Hill. Just a beautiful entry. He misses the and one, but he still has a chance at the line to give him a two point lead. He looks uh, he looks very concentrated right there. Shooting two. And he makes the first one, giving Aqua Thunder the first lead of the game. And he misses a second and rebounded by Cousins himself. There's two Cousins. Are you seeing double? Because I am. Cousins, he's got some moves. He's working on Cousins. Oh, and he goes up against uh, Christie. But Pollard gets the rebound. Oh, my God, a little dream shake by Pollard. You don't see that often by that, man. Jeez. Oh my goodness, that was brilliant. He'll bring up the ball instead of Oscar Robinson. Very interesting. He gives it to Robinson in the post on Fox. Little turn around and fade away. He drains it. He's a little taller. A little taller of a point guard. So he got a little height advantage on Fox. Giving Aqua Thunder the lead 3-2. to two. Fox working on Robinson. Gives it to Pejo. Gives it to Heald. Heald is working on Heald. They're both number 3 for some reason. Cousins working on Cousins. Give it to Heald. Get a screen by Pollard. Gets around it. He goes for the jump shot at the free throw line. Misses. Rebounded by Cousins. Pushing up. 40 seconds left on the first. Cousins. Oh. On the smaller man. Oscar Robinson in the corner for three. Giving Arco Thunder a 6-2 advantage. That's a full point lead. 30 seconds left. Fox. Finds Peja. He's been quiet so far. And so is Christy. Pollard on Holmes. Gives the Cousins in the post. Working, a little turnaround fadeaway. He makes it six to four. This is already a, a much better game than what we saw yesterday. Uh, both teams are actually scoring. Sorry, Loyal Royal 2020. That was a poor performance. Sacktown Finest. Oh, Cousins makes it. Give me an eight. Uh, Oko Thunder eight to four lead. But yes, this is a much better game. The visiting team, Sacktown Finest 96, is actually putting up a fight. Let's see if they can cut the deficit with a buzzer beater. Fox misses. All right, so it's a full point, uh, full point lead for Aqua Thunder, but Sacktown Finest is still right in it. Let's uh, let's get this second quarter underway here in a second. They just have to mop the floors up right now. A lot of sweat dripping. All right, Helm's going to inbound to Robertson to start off this second quarter. Robertson working on Fox with the body heel. Buddy with the three. He misses. Rebounded by Cousins. Oh, he was wide open. You got to make those ones. Cousins gives it to Buddy in the corner. And he misses. Two misses. Rebounded by Peja. That's an easy layup. Eight to six. Sacktown Finest hanging in. Oko Thunder. They're trying to put a stop to this. Buddy, I am very confused. Why is Buddy Heald bringing up the ball? Maybe because Buddy Heald is guarding him, right? Terrible defender and a terrible dribbler. All right. Oscar Robinson on Fox in the post. Ah, that's just too easy. Robertson's too tall for Fox. He can't stop that. Buddy Heald bringing up the ball in both cases. Very interesting. Give it to Cousins in the post. Little hop step. It looks like that got blocked by Cousins, and Cousins rebounds it. 6 to 10. Cousins pushing. Holmes is wide open. I saw that, and he finishes with the layup. I thought he was going to slam it down home. He lays it up. 12 to 6. Lead for Arco Thunder. Fox. Brings it up. Give it to Peja. Swings it to Heald. Buddy just holding on to it. Give it to Cousins. Who gives it to Fox? Little two point J that he drains. 12 to 8, 46 seconds left. Savvy, he's playing mighty fine at home. 22 points. Even though he is the uh, road team in this occasion, technically. Oh well. Robertson just having his way with Fox in the, the post. They had to double him. They give it to Cousins. That's what happens when you double a, a star player. There's no star open. 
Cousins gives the Aqua Thunder a six-point advantage. Fox, Robertson pressing, body healed. Buddy Hill doesn't do much. He kind of just stands up with the ball. He drives and he loses it. But Pollard grabs it. He has that's going to be a jump ball. Pollard and Buddy are just fighting for it. Pollard definitely has the advantage in this instance, but anything can happen. Here's the tip. Oh, and Buddy wins. Oh, my goodness. That's like a seven inch advantage by Pollard and he loses. Robertson with six seconds left. Find Cousins. He's going to work on Cousins. Fade away. That looked like, oh, I thought that got blocked. And he's on fire. That's an eight point lead. Fox going to have to jack it up at the buzz. I don't think he got it off in time anyway. All right. Jeez. Aqua Thunder just taking advantage of Sacktown, uh, Sacktown Finest 96. We kind of out of nowhere. It was a close game for a second, but they kind of just pulled ahead. There's the halftime show. Again, we don't have rights to TNT. We have to skip this. Sorry, Shaq. Let's see some of the, the highlights in this first quarter. Oscar Robinson just with those nice converse, his old school converse on, trains to three. Just working on the much smaller Fox in the post. Fox is not used to guarding those, so Robinson just had his way. Cousins on Cousins. Great matchup. Sacktown finest. Uh, Cousins drains this one right here. So let's see the halftime report. <laughs> oh my god. Aqua Thunder shooting 88% with 7 assists to Sacktown Final 76 is 2. And here we have the Cousins's. Demarcus Cousins is, has, he does not have 7 assists. That's a lie. It's kind of like Weber. It said he had 9 assists yesterday. I, I don't know what's happening here. But uh, Cousins has 7 points for Aqua Thunder. And Cousins has 2 points for Sacktown Finest 96. So let's try to get back to this action soon. See you guys later. You probably did a great show, but we uh, we aren't tuned into that one. See if there's any halftime entertainment now. Look at that. Peja, Divock, Weber, Richmond, and the six man. That's all of you. You guys are up in the rafters. That's how much we care. All right. Doug Chris is going to inbound it to Robertson for Aqua Thunder to start off the second half. Robertson, seven points, three for three. Having his way with Fox. And Cousins still on fire. Oh, he just... Oh, he misses. I thought he had that one. That kind of looked like a push-off. And he looks like he was wide open, but he missed. Fox. Oh, kicks it. And that's stolen by Heald. Give it to Cousins. Who gives it to Christie. who has been quiet this game as long as, along with Peja. He's trying to get on the, the stat board. But he gives it to Heald. 16-8 still. Uncle Thunder with the ball. Robinson in the corner. Working on Fox. Just going to that post move. They have to double him. Fox is too small. He finds Christie. He's going to have to uh, shoot a contested three. He barely misses. Cousins with the rebound. Sacktown Finest 96 really needs to score right here. And he gives it to Heald. Who was wide? Why is he not shooting that? Okay. Fox. He has a wide open lane. He banks it. And he misses. Cousins with the rebound. Fox has to make that. If Sacktown Finest 96 wants to get back into this game. Christie working on Peja. He'll just be taking up a lot of room right next to him. Holmes working on Fox. That's a bad matchup. They gave it to Christie. I don't know why Holmes didn't shoot that. Now they have heel on him. Now Buddy's going to have to swing it to Christie. He's going to shoot another contested three. That's not a good look. Rebounded by Sacktown Finest 96. They're going to have to score. And Cousins just has a huge hole. He slams it home. That was too easy. A mobile big man like that. That's the advantage of having someone of his caliber. All right, Robertson working on Fox. Instead of driving, he pulls it up. Heavily contested. He misses. Cousins the rebound. They have the chance to cut this lead into four. Heald working on Heald. Heald really doesn't do much. He kind of just dribbles. Oh, Heald is just open for that three. I don't know why he's not shooting it. Cousins shoots a mid-range shot, and he makes it. 16 to 12, Alco Thunder only has a full point advantage now. Robinson trying to shoot it at the buzzer. He makes it. All right, now a six point advantage. Uh, nobody's going to get a shot off. I believe Sacktown Finest 96 is going to get the ball to start this fourth. A six point lead. Uh, that's, that's pretty big at this point, only two minute quarters. So let's see if they can step it up right now. Here's the old school Kings jerseys. But yeah, they really need to step it up right here. Buddy Heald has. Uh, Taking a three he missed. Um, he's uh, passed up a couple of open looks, so 
he can't do this right now. They need threes. Uh, not in bunches, but two of them would be huge right now. The Sacktown finest with the ball. Get to Cousins in the post. He misses, but he gets his own rebound. And he misses the putback. And he does not get this rebound this time. Cousins, the other Cousins gets it. Give it to Christie. Alco Thunder is pulling away with this game. That's an eight-point lead now. Only a minute 30 left in the game. Fox bringing the ball up. Gives the Cousins, who just instead of shooting a wide-open mid-range, starts using clock, but he makes the tough turnaround. Jay, it's a six-point game. It's We're still here, all right? It's not over yet. Two threes can uh, tie this game up. Cousins, working on Cousins. That's a tough shot, but he gets his own rebound. Misses again. Gets his own rebound again. Misses again. Cousins gets the rebound. Uh, almost gets it poked away. He's bringing it up. A minute left in this game. Let's see what he can do right here. He is a ball hog, and Holmes just stuffs him right in the face. Oh, he needs to pass it, and that's why they traded him for body healed. That's ridiculous. He needs to get the ball into a point guard's hands. And now, oh, I'll go Thunder's Cousins miss, and Sacktown Finest Cousins gets the rebound. He's driving on Robertson. He is just a ball hog. He is shooting everything. Pollard with the rebound, working on Cousins. Ah, he misses. And now Robertson with the ball for Alco Thunder. That's a foul. They're going to have to start sending him to the line. Cousins just does not want to give this ball up. Now they have to start intentionally fouling. A six-point game with 32 seconds left. They're just going to have to hope. But... I, it looks like this game's over. I can't imagine Sacktown Finest 96 coming out with the win. Robinson makes the first one. He makes the second. It's an eight-point game. Uh, Sacktown Finest 96 calls the timeout, but I don't know how much good that will do. An eight-point game with 32 seconds left. And it's been done before, but it has it. I assume it has, but I couldn't tell you an actual date. All right. They're going to need a quick three. DeMarcus Cousins, definitely player of the game. He's just he's just been a monster for Alco Thunder. Sacktown Finest 96, Cousins did not have a good game. He's kind of more of a ball hog, really. Alco Thunder, like that, Cousins. It's the same Cousins, by the way. So I don't know why one's so much better than the other. Let's get this game back on this, uh, the road, I guess, the show. Show on the road. Uh, Peja. Instead of taking a three, they're giving to Scott Pollard. Just wasting a lot of clock right now. It's a lot of mindless passing. Fox with a three, that'd be huge for them, and he makes it. He cuts the lead to five. They need a steal right here. Fox has to foul Robertson. They're hoping he makes misses at least one. Let's see if they can get their prayer right here after Robertson makes the first one. He makes the second one. That's why he's a Hall of Famer. But Sacktown Finest is not going down without a fight. There's a free t-shirt on the line. They want it real bad, even though they're down by seven at this moment with 20.7 seconds left. Look at these kids dancing, trying to get the crowd hyped up. But the crowd, they're, I, they're on their feet. Look at them, actually. It's amazing. Everyone's clapping. It's a huge game. Pollard, the man of many hairstyles, is going to inbound the ball. He finds Peja. Misses. Cousins with the rebound. All they have to do is drill out the clock, and this game is about over. 10 seconds left. Robertson on Fox. That's game. Alco Thunder is going to come out with the win. They are going to move on to play, uh, I believe, Sacktown 97. Yes, because Sacktown 97 beat Loyal Royal 2020 yesterday. So, round two, the round is 16. Our first matchup is Sacktown 97 against Alco Thunder. Just a brilliant performance by the team, winning it by seven. Uh, they know that free t shirts on the line, and they want it. Robertson just had a huge game along with Cousins. Uh, it was just beautiful to watch. Look at Robertson, old school man right there. Cousins with the dunk. Fox with the two. Maybe there's a three, I don't know. That Cousins was a ball hog. He, he needed to calm down. Way too many missed shots, as you were seeing right there. So thank you for tuning in to this broadcast. We will see you tomorrow with another game. Tomorrow, Team Wildlife takes on the P-Town Ballers. Tune in then. Until next time, Nigel Pickles.